Hey Planner Friends, it's your girl Tiff from Tiff's Planet and welcome back to my channel. I know I've been a little MIA, but a good reason I graduated. So I cannot wait to show you guys this play with me slash vlog of my graduation week. Um, I had a blast. I had a great time with my family. I mean, it was actually really fun doing this vlog. So I might try to incorporate it, you know, like once a month or, you know, depending on if I have time to do it. Um, so I will be planning April the 22nd through April the 28th. This being my graduation week. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Can y'all tell that I'm excited? Anyway, this is how the layout came out. I think that it came out absolutely beautifully. So excited to share you this plan with me with you guys slash vlog. I'm sure you guys hear the little person in the background. Um, so if you guys care to see how I did this layout and see my graduation vlog for this week, then please keep watching. So I'm going to begin by showing you guys this beautiful kit. Again, I will be planning April the 22nd through April the 28th. And this is my graduation week. I will be graduating on April the 27th. Okay, I'm going to calm down. <laughs> so this is the Saucy Stickers Co. Graduation Kit. And I thought that it was so pretty. And it's foiled in rose gold foiling. And these are your full boxes. And I just thought that she did an amazing job on this uh, kit. It's such a pretty kit. Um, so here's your functional page that has your um, script stickers, um, your Juanita Tony tracker, your habit trackers, and then some of your functional icons and page flags along with your movie marquee, which I will be using this week to go see Avengers. Then you have these beautiful foiled headers, your half boxes, and some more quarter boxes. And then here you have this beautiful bottle washi. I thought it was so pretty. Your day covers, some uh, ombre checklist, and then you have some functional headers here and i think that this kit is absolutely gorgeous i love the colors um pink is a uh, pink purple <laughs> i can't believe i said pink purple is one of my favorite colors and i thought that it was paired really really well with the pink and the soft blue and then i also picked up the deco sheet which i actually didn't end up using because i like the way that it looked without the deco um so let's just go ahead and Next, I'm going to be finishing off my Saucy Stickers Co. Graduation Countdown stickers. And then I'm also going to be incorporating this Graduation Girl Mini from Oso Paper. So again, I am going to be planning the week of April the 22nd through the 28th. So let's get started. It's graduation week. Okay, so I'm going to begin by applying or putting down my bottom washi per the usual. Um, and I really liked the uh, fact that she did her bottom washi and it was not the thinner strip was not the bows sometimes um you know like most shops do the bows i thought that it was pretty that it was different that she didn't incorporate the bows but she did this really pretty um like swirl pattern on the thinner like five millimeter type of washi so i thought that was very very pretty and very very clever of her so i'm just putting that down and then i'm going to be putting down all of my my, my whole entire base for this plan with me and like i said earlier this is going to be a plan with me slash vlog so after i plan out each day you guys will see the vlog for that particular day um and i really actually enjoyed doing um the vlog i don't know how often i will be able to actually do it but i really enjoyed it so let me know in the, in the comments down below you guys if you guys actually liked um me doing the vlog and maybe i'll try to incorporate it um whenever i can um into my weeks so here you just see me putting down um, my date covers and then my page flags as well um for this layout um this week you guys was such an amazing week um i graduated of course uh per the title in the beginning of the uh, <laughs> play with me and got my associate's degree in business and this was such a huge accomplishment um for me um i talk about it a little bit later on in the um uh, vlog portion of the plan with me um but i was diagnosed um in the ninth grade with a learning disability 
And so, you know, doctors told me that it would be very hard for me in school and very hard for me, um, just period, when it comes to doing things like that. And so uh, I was fearful of going to school, but I did it and I didn't, it didn't take me longer like they thought it was going to take me. I was able to do it in the allotted amount of time that it takes to get an associate's degree. Um, and I felt very proud of myself. And now I feel, I've, now I feel like, okay, I don't know what it, what it is about having a degree under my belt but it makes me feel like okay what you said doctors about every you know nothing that i wouldn't accomplish anything but that it would take forever or longer for me to accomplish it you guys didn't know what y'all talking about because i was able to accomplish it in the same amount of time as anybody else and so it just made me feel really good to be able to accomplish that so um i feel awesome and uh, i just know that there's great things um to come in the future um, for me and I'm just really really happy to see where um, where, the, where you know where the, where the Lord takes me um, in this journey so I'm going ahead and I'm putting starting off my sidebar area and I'm putting down this um, full box which I thought was really really pretty and then I'm just going to go ahead and lay down my foundation full boxes for the rest of this layout and I didn't really have a pattern that I was going to be going by this week typically I you know go you know, either up and down, up and down motion or diagonal motion or, you know, some kind of a pattern to how I do my placement of my boxes. But kind of this was kind of just a random placement of how of, of the boxes and what just felt right to me and laying down these full boxes. So um, this week, of course, was a, a very, very busy, busy week for me. Um. It, but it was also very, very fun and uh, very, very uh, rewarding and sentimental for me. Um, more so than anything, you know, it was it was sentimental for me because, you know, to be able to walk the stage and graduate was was huge for me. But not only that, but to be able to walk the stage and for my oldest daughter to have been able to witness her, not only her mommy, but also her daddy who graduated a couple of years ago and got his master's degree, she's been able to see both of her parents graduate from college. So I feel like that's an amazing example of, you know, you know, you know, going on furthering your education and accomplishing your goals for, for her. And so I was really, really excited about um, her being able to see mommy walk the stage. And it was so cute. She, um, the next day at church, um, she was like, she, um, well, she went up to one, uh, one of her aunts and was like, I have a great example. I saw my mommy and my daddy, uh, walk, uh, walk the stage. And she said that without me even saying it to her, which made it even more special. So it was just an amazing, amazing week. Um, uh, so as you see me doing here, I was continuing to lay down my full boxes as well as laying down my headers. I would, did go across the top of the pages to um, coordinate the different colors across the pages for my headers and then you guys will just see me putting down um, the headers on the bottoms and top portions of the full boxes that I wanted to have headers on uh, especially on Sunday not Sunday Saturday I um, wanted to have headers at the top and bottom of that full box because that was uh, my special day and um, and I then decided that I wanted to try and do, <laughs> I'm going to emphasize the word try, okay? I wanted to try and do a washi full box because the, because the only other full box in this kit, I don't feel really went with um, what I was trying to do for Saturday. So onto my sidebar area, I'm going to finish off my sidebar area. I went ahead and put down one of the foil headers and then I put down one of the functional headers that said this week. Um, typically, I use my this week for, um, you know, marking my Instagram posts and things like that. But I did not use the this week for that. Um, this time I actually used it to mark um, daily what I needed to do to prepare for my trip on uh, Friday. So then I went ahead and put down another foil header with the three heart checklist to remember the, the things that I did not want to forget on that day. And then I went ahead and put down a habit tracker to mark and to track my skincare because my skin, I guess because of, you know, um, 
you know, just, you know, the stress of, you know, getting ready for graduation, my skin has started to really, really break out. And so I really needed to kind of monitor uh, my skin care that day. And so next you see me going ahead and I'm putting down um, the quarter boxes on Monday all the way through to um, Sunday. And I'm going to be doing this to put down my graduation countdown stickers from also from Saucy Stickers Co. And after I do that, I'm going to then try this attempt <laughs> attempt at a washi full box. Um, I think I did a good job. I actually um, watched a couple of videos of people doing the their uh, washi journaling cards or their washi like dashboards. And that was actually very helpful to um, kind of figure out how to do um, <laughs> do the washi full box. And I think who else um has that I see do I think um I think it was uh Esley from Inky and the Brain. Uh I think I saw her um do a washi full box on uh, a couple of her plimomies or one of her plimomies that she did and she's one of my favorite uh YouTubers. Um I love watching her plimomies and so I'm pretty sure I, sh I gather a lot of inf inf I gather a lot of inspiration from uh, Esley's playing with me's so I'm pretty sure that's, that's the person that I saw that actually did the washi full box on one of her layouts and I thought that it came out really pretty so what you guys see me doing here is actually trying to I was about to start doing a um trying to figure out how to do something different other than the uh, washi full box and then realized mm, it's not gonna work for me so then I took everything up and started applying the washi that I wanted to use for my washi full box and I ended up using my uh, washi that I picked up from my first Simply Gilded um, subscription box which was I believe the Soroku um, uh, subscription box which was, was the February one and it was just so pretty. It um, was foiled with rose, with, with rose gold foil and with um, pink gold foil. And so I thought that it was perfect for this particular layout. It being foiled in rose gold. And I actually love the way that this came out. And definitely um, see myself doing the washi full box again. Because it was so pretty. And it just added something. It added that that it factor that I really wanted in my layout. So I'm going to hit just trimming down the washi and making it to where it fits my full box. And then I'm going to be taking that also paper fashionista graduation mini. And I absolutely love um, that graduation mini that um, also paper had. And it came with three. So I was uh, really happy because I was able to actually use all three of them. I used the one in my, my monthly layout. I used one in my B6, which I actually took on the road with me when I was um, for my graduation. And then I used this last one, which was the biggest one in my graduation layout and my EC. And so it worked out so perfectly that um, that that graduation fashionista girls from Osa Paper had three of those in there. And so that's what you see me right here doing, putting down the graduation uh, girl on this uh, full box washi full box that I did that I made I'm proud of myself y'all can y'all tell I'm proud <laughs> um and I think that it looks so pretty I was trying to figure out um if I wanted to put a quarter box on the bottom of uh on the bottom of the full box or on the top of the full box and I ended up deciding to put it on the bottom of the full box because I did not want to cover up the graduation cap on the um the fashionista mini um so i ended up putting a uh study stick sadie stickers uh foiled quarter box on the bottom and then i cut off the graduation cap from the very last countdown sticker from saucy stickers and just had it say graduation day and put that in the middle of that quarter box so on to my sidebar area i ended up using these foil script stickers from paper focus and I am a PR girl for Paper Focus, so make sure that you always check the description box below because I have all of my PR codes to the shops that I PR for. And I'm just putting a This Week sticker um, down there. And then I'm going to also be putting a Don't Forget sticker um, where the ombre checklist is just so that I do not forget any of the important things that I need to forget, like my name card, 
my uh, cap and gown and uh, all as always your phone charger because typically um, that's one of the things that I typically always bag on forget when I go on a trip is my phone charger and I have to end up always going to go buy a phone charger because I always end up forgetting my cord so uh, I wanted to make sure that I put that visibly in front of me so that I did not forget um, next I'm going to then fill in um, my don't forget and as well as fill in my habit tracker and then I'm going to move on to my Monday um, I like I said I wanted to kind of figure out what I uh, was going to be tracking and then quickly realized I needed to be tracking skincare so that's you guys see me putting down on my habit tracker um, so onto my Monday I'm going to be putting down a one of the page flags on from the kit putting that down and then taking a script sticker that says coffee Monday from letters to Apollo and then after that I'm going to be taking one of the coffee cup stickers from chic blossom prints and I'm a PR girl for her as well and putting that down on the side of my coffee Monday next putting down a quarter box from the kit and then i'm going to be taking one of these foil icons from sadie stickers to indicate that i needed to wash my daughter's uniforms and then taking another sadie stickers foil uh, quarter box from the kit and putting down a coffee monster co um, washing clothes munchkin to indicate that i needed to be putting oh i need to put away my daughter's clothes and then next, I'm going to be taking a art box stickers scalloped half box. And I was going to be using that to indicate that I needed to order dinner that night. And then I decided to move on, move on and put that on my Tuesday. And that's what you guys will see me doing here. And then let's go on to the first part of my vlog. Hope you guys enjoy. on to my tuesday i went ahead and put down the credit card stickers or credit card icons from the kit on to my half box and then i laid down another quarter box from the kit and then i'm going to be taking one of the foil icons from lady stickers the shopping bag sticker and putting that down to indicate that i needed to make a walmart run then taking another half box from the kit and then taking one of these bow pans from GP Sticker Studios to indicate that I wanted to help my daughter with her homework. And then taking another Sadie Stickers foiled quarter box from the kit and putting that down along with a taco icon from Inky and the Brain who I'm also a PR for. Then I also took one of the rose gold washi strips from Gabriella Elena Designs who I'm a PR girl for as well and put that down just to indicate that I needed to go to the beauty supply store. And then I also took one of the art by stickers header overlays to add some separation to that area and then i used some undo and removed that half box because i didn't like the way that it looked and i ended up hating the way that i wrote in that i needed to buy my girls some jellies from walmart for their outfits so i went ahead and just used one of the non-foiled half boxes from the kit and then replaced the credit card um icons and then went ahead and filled in my tuesday um putting down i needed to put buy some jellies for some clear jellies for my girls i needed to go make a walmart run um and then like i said help my daughter with her homework um she's been doing really good in school but she gets her uh her b's and her lowercase b's and her lowercase d's confused and so i wanted to really work with her on that that day um and then i'm going to be indicating taco tuesday as well as going to the beauty supply store on that day. So I decided to actually um, get a sewn in weave. Um, for those of you guys that know what that is. Um, and 
um, for my graduation and I hadn't got one of those in a very, very long time. So I needed to go to the B-Supply store and pick out some hair that matched the color of my hair and the texture of my hair. And so that's what you guys kind of see me doing there. And on to day two of my vlog. Say okay. Say okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you. We are on our way to Walmart to run some errands. Hi, Scooty Scoot. Thank you. On to Wednesday, I went ahead and put down a quarter box. And then I took one of the flat iron stickers from Tassel Planner and put that down to indicate that I had a hair appointment at 10 a.m. to get my hair did for my graduation. <laughs> and then I went ahead and put down another half box from the kit to indicate that I needed to go and buy my graduation dress uh, because I was going to end up going to Ross or it's one of those places to get me a dress. And then I put down a uh, quarter box from Sadie Stickers along with a Coffee Monster coat pickup emoji from picking up to uh, indicate that I needed to pick up my uh, my baby. And then you guys have been putting down a three heart ombre checklist along with one of the foiled headers from the kit to indicate that I needed to do some cleaning. I wanted to make sure that my house was clean before um, we left to go on our trip. So you guys have been using a to clean sticker from Paper Focus, one for one of her script her foiled script stickers and I'm just in using that to indicate that I needed to clean up and then again putting down another um, header overlay from Artbox stickers who I'm also a PR girl for um, to make some separation in that particular portion of this day and then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my day and again putting in my hair appointment for that day um, and then putting in that I needed to go and buy my graduation dress and I ended up going to Ross and it was crazy because when I went to Ross um I would look for a couple of different a couple of different areas for a dress and went and I found a dress that was exactly what I was looking for and they literally had one they had one left it was in my size it fit perfectly and I didn't have the alterations done to it or anything like that. I was like blown away because usually, you know, I have to get something altered or anything or something like that. I didn't get anything done to it. And it was the very last one left. I'm like, okay, look at God. Okay. Because I ended up getting me my dress and didn't have to do anything to it. Um, and it worked out perfectly. So, that so I went ahead and inserted a couple of clips of me getting my hair done on Wednesday. Typically really short. On to Thursday, I went ahead and put down a half box from the kit. And then I'm going to be taking one of the nail polish stickers from Tassel Planner and putting that down to indicate that I needed, I had a nail, a pedicure appointment at 11 o'clock to go and get my feet done. I get my nails and my feet done in two different places. That's just, I'm a little finicky about my nails and my feet, so I'm more particular. And then I went ahead and put down another quarter box from the kit. And put down the washing basket to indicate that I needed to finish um, folding and washing some clothes. And then I went ahead and put down another half box from the kit along with the time um, icon from the Sadie Stickers um, foil sampler to indicate that I had a, my second portion of my job interview with Ulta on that day. Um, and I was super excited about it. And then I went ahead at the very, very bottom of that day, went ahead and put down another quarter box from Sadie Stickers along with the television icon to indicate that I wanted to watch Grey's Anatomy. And you guys just see me filling in my day, putting in that I needed to do my go to my pedicure appointment. And then I ended up realizing I wanted to uh, put something in that space. And so I went ahead and put down another Art by Stickers um, header to uh, break up that area and kind of add some deco to that space right there um, and then went ahead and feel continued to fill in my day um, that I needed to finish washing clothes that I needed to go to my job interview and that I watched Grey's Anatomy to complete my day so you guys right now see me um, putting on putting that art box stickers um, header overlay um, right, right up under 
um, where I got my nails done and where I was finishing my clothes just because I wanted to add a little bit of um, deco to that space so that it wasn't so much white space in that area. And then I'm going to just continue filling in my Thursday. And from Thursday all the way until graduation day, it was a pretty full day of getting stuff done and doing stuff and running errands. So uh, my vlogs will get a little bit more, a little bit more lengthy, um, but not too lengthy. Um, and you guys hopefully will enjoy um, the next few days because it'll be a little bit more fun. Um, so yeah, let's get into my day four vlog. Okay guys, so it is Thursday and this is pretty uh it's a pretty chill with chill day for me, but um I'm uh have to go I'm on my way to go to the nail shop to get my feet done to get my nails and my feet done to these places. Don't judge me. <laughs> I'm real particular about my feet, but I'm also very, very particular about my nails. Um so I'm getting my feet done today and getting my nails done tomorrow. Um so I'm going to the nail shop to get my um feet done right now and then I am going to um, go to uh, to Ross or to um, to Ross or to Coles one of the two and try to find me a lilac because I want lilac because purple is my favorite color so I'm trying to find me a lilac um, outfit like dress or something like that um, to wear because my daughters are wearing lilac and pink um, and like I said, I want to wear light like this is my favorite, one of my favorite colors. Um, so I'm going to go do that. And then today I, uh, have the second portion of my, uh, interview at Ulta Beauty, um, to be, uh, the salon manager. So hopefully, uh, prayers and good vibes and all that stuff that, um, I, um, past the second portion of the interview. There's four portions of this interview. So, uh, second portion is meeting with the general manager at Ulta, and then the technical part of the interview, which I'm not worried about. I teach for a living, so I'm not worried about the technical portion of the interview. And then the last portion of the interview is a phone interview with the district manager. So, I am moving along in the system uh, to see if I can get this position as a salon manager at Ulta. So, uh, keep guys, keep, keep that in your prayers and uh, send good vibes and all that stuff my way. Um, but yeah, that is on the agenda today. So I will take you along with me uh, as I do my errands for today. <laughs> I just finished my interview I think that it went very well I have to now do um, my uh, technical portion of the interview which they want to do sometime in next week so I will be waiting for that phone call and I'll keep you guys posted on what uh, happens with me getting this salon manager position at Ulta Beauty so yeah like I said, still keep you guys, keep me in your prayers and send good vibes and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Um, but yes, I am done with my interview and I cannot wait to see what happens and what the Lord has in store for me. You know, when it comes to this position and just, you know, in my, in my, in, in my new career and venture now that I'm done with school, you know, where, you know, where the Lord, you know, was going to plant me, you know what I mean? Now that I am officially done with school. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> Okay, so on to Friday. Friday, of course, was the day that we left. But most importantly, Friday was Avengers Endgame Day. Avengers Endgame. I have been waiting for this movie. Oh my God. Me and my planner bestie. <laughs> uh, Tay from Shantae Plans. Oh my God. We are so diehard. Uh, Avengers fans so I could not wait for that movie I went to an earlier special it's right and early at 6 a.m <laughs> so I went ahead and put down another quarter box from Sadie stickers along with another nail polish sticker from Satchel Planner and then that um sloth 
movie sticker is from Lisa Lorraine Designs. And then I went ahead and put down another half box with a foiled car icon from Sadie Stickers. And then putting down another quarter box from the kit along with the foiled suitcase icon from Sadie Stickers. And another art by Stickers a header overlay. And then I wanted to go ahead and do Saturday as well because it was I wasn't really doing a whole lot on Saturday other than graduating. <laughs> so I put down a half box on Saturday along with a car icon and then put down a quarter box with the um, utensil icon to indicate that I wanted to go to one of my favorite um, safe food places which is called Let's Seize and get some lobster po' boys which are absolutely amazing. They're so good. And so you guys... So next you just see me on Friday putting in that I was going to see Avengers Endgame bright and early at 6.30 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> you like how I said that? In the morning. Um, and then next I'm going to just be putting in that my, my nail appointment. Um, Again, like I said, I was going to go get my nails done today. And I have an appointment at 1.30 to go get my nails done. And then I'm going to be putting in um, that we're going to be going to Fresno. Fresno, here we come. <laughs> um i did end up pulling up that art box stickers um foil overlay and i found some really cute um luggage and road trip stickers from um made with southern love i you guys don't see me putting that down in here but you guys will you guys probably did see it or will see it in the very very beginning of this plan with me uh, where you see my full layout you'll see the little luggage and the little road trip with the road map um, in that place instead of the scallop um, overlay header overlay but I thought that it looked so cute and was so perfect for us getting on the road to go to Fresno so on to the fifth and sixth day of my vlog all right y'all so I am up early this morning because it is a vendor's day so i am up early going to uh an early bird showing of avengers so i got my blanket because i always take a blanket with me <laughs> um and yeah it's avengers time friend the one that I call twin <laughs> um, she is taking me to the nail shop to get my nails done um, with her nail lady so I am waiting for her to hold up she should be here in a minute and then I am going to go and get my nails done today um, I have already seen Avengers and event you will laugh you will high five you will have one of those women women empowering moments. You will cry. You will it. You have if it it gives you when these people say you get you getting all in your feels. You get all in your feels because it gives you every feeling that you could possibly think of in this movie. So definitely want to go and see. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna go see it again. Sure am. So yes, but um, it is down to hours until I graduate from school. It hit me a little bit when I was on my way over here to meet my homegirl to go get my nails done, and I got a little little, little teary eyed. I got a little choked up because I'm like, oh my god, like you know, um, I don't talk about my story but you know I was diagnosed with a learning disability um, when I was in high school I think I was in ninth grade and so I was told that you know all this stuff would be really hard for me and you know uh, I, I, if, I, if I did get a degree it would take me it would take me you know a lot longer and, and it didn't and everything that they, they told me that it would take me longer I ended up doing first time accomplishing the first time so um to say that I have a degree under my belt was like the last, for me, was like the last 
last thing that I felt like I needed to accomplish to say, you know, slap in the face with doctors. You know, I know who is God, what God I serve. I know, you know, you know my who my who my faith lies in, and boop boop in the face. Um, so, and I did it. I did it. I have 23 hours because next tomorrow at this time I will be walking into my ceremony to graduate. It starts at one o'clock tomorrow. We are here, so hello, hello, hello. We, we made it here. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. Woo, 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 big dog. Drove all the whole way, huh? Big dog. We are here, we are here. Time to sleep. Woo, 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 woo. I know, I saw. Yep. Okay, where we sleeping at? Mm -hmm. I thought she sleeping over there without me. Yeah, okay. Yep, this is a pretty huge room. She don't want you. Oh, don't nobody want you but me. <laughs> nobody want you but me. She like, yeah, right. Oh, they got two bathrooms? Yeah, baby. Okay, so on to Sunday, I am laying down a quarter box from Sadie Stickers, and then I am going to be putting a church script from Letters to Apollo, and then putting down a half box from the kit, and then I also went ahead and put down the Bible icon from the Sadie Stickers icon sampler, and then I went ahead and put down a bow paper clip from Planning with Peggy Co. And then I'm putting down another one of the foiled headers from the kit. And then I'm going to be putting down a page flag. Um, and then layering the laundry sticker from the kit on top, top of that. And then after I do that, I'm going to be then taking another one of the scalloped circles from Regina Labs, which I absolutely love. I have um, fell in love with these little scallop circles they are so cute and they're just so functional i need to go and actually get some more so i went ahead and laid down one of the regina lab scallop circles and then i took one of the uh, bedazzled pins from uh, planning with peggy co and put that down as well to indicate that i was going to be um, planning for the rest of the week and then at the very bottom of that i then went ahead and put down the family time sticker from the kit to indicate that I was going to just be spending some time with my family after our trip because um, it was a very, very busy week. And then at the very bottom of the page, I went ahead and put down the weekend banner from the kit at the very, very bottom of... And that is it, guys, for this memory spread plan with me slash vlog um, of my graduation week you will see me here putting in all of my plans for sunday uh, make sure you guys are always following me on instagram at tips planet where you get all the up-to-date information on my page and until next time guys happy planning